All right, hello everyone. We are setting up our bag here for hole number six. And today I'm going to go quarterback, sniper, and try to hone in on perfecting this drive. So I'm going to make a minor tweak on where I go. Um, as I remember from this morning that, uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't quite bounce quite as, quite as hard as a pot does. Um, for whatever reason. And may have to just come in a little bit on our aim. So what I'm going to try to do is focus on getting the distance down by going into power and just try to focus on the landing zone and hopefully get it to run up that hill into that fairway. So one of the things that you are going to see me do this time is I'm going to try uh, to curl it a little bit differently with my uh, side spin um, and maybe kind of change up my landing zone a little bit differently as well. Uh, I really don't think so. Um, going right here really doesn't have its advantage. I would not recommend this with this wind. I would not recommend going this way at all. It's just too hard of a target to go try to hit. And I would really recommend going left and just kind of playing it safely into that fairway as opposed to trying to go right there. But if you do play this hole, um, you know, ideally, I would recommend trying to get it up to where I'm about to try to go. And you see what I do with my side spin. Um, and I'm going to try to land it, you know, right about up in here, somewhere right in here, and use the curl to get the ball back over. So you can see where I'm kind of aiming. Um, I am going to go into some power, just so you know. Um, and I'm trying to gauge, you know, five power is about half power. So if you can see that I'm about five rings short, um, you know, I might keep that. And I'll use about a five ring adjustment here. And uh, just try this for my power and see if I can't get this to curl over into the fairway here. And sure enough, there I got it right onto that corner there. So maybe even a little bit more curl. I, it seems like I'm a little afraid to over curl it. So I've kind of held the hit sec, uh, the right half of that fairway, which I'm okay with as long as I can, you know, hone in on that adjustment. I think I also did great bought to the right, maybe, either right or left. But as you can see, I'm kind of gently, uh, gently, um, Getting that one over on the right side, you can see how big the fairway Well, it's, first off, it's not that huge. Uh, it looks bigger than it is. It's a very tough target to hit. I've tried to hit it with Big Topper. Uh, did not go so well. So uh, it is not the easiest of targets. But uh, you know, here you can see we're very close to max. So we're going to keep that in mind for our ring adjustment. So first off, I'm going to set up just a little bit right. Kind of anticipate that wind a little bit. Aside from that, I'm going to go spot on and just try to focus on perfect precision rings. Right at about 8.8. .8. Perfect ball. Ah, coming up short again. So I'm having trouble climbing that hill. I've been trying to... Uh, work on how much backspin to use. I think it just kind of has to do with my landing zone. I might just have to get it up the hill just a tiny bit more on where I'm setting to aim up. Because um, I have had it come up short a couple times. But you can see as a result, it's not, uh, you know, where I put it isn't all that, you know, it's, it's not a very troublesome eagle. Uh, I haven't had it uh, stay down in the rough yet or anything so um, it might be just be more beneficial to get a little bit more aggressive on that line up the hill been trying to keep it a little bit lower and use the guide but it seems like the guides led me down a bit but in any regard um, i'm glad that i got this uh, quarterback revision for you guys so feel free to look this one over Hopefully you guys can work on uh, perfecting this as well because uh, tomorrow is going to be moment of truth. Um, but even if, you know, it takes you a couple more days to get that shot down, it might be worth, you know, just hanging in there. And as long as you have it ready for the weekend, should be good to go. So 
Good luck there and catch you guys for hole six.